been able to see from comments that a lot of people are looking forward to a tour of our new RV. Yep. So, come on, let's go. <laughs> Tiny house, prepper. Live simple, live free. Hey everybody, I'm Bill. And I'm Elizabeth with Tiny House Prepper. So we are very excited to show you a tour of our new cottage. Yes. And uh, by the way, for those of you who don't know where we got the name cottage, you know, a lot of people have a house and then they have a second home, a cottage up in the mountains or a cottage down by the beach or whatever. So we live in our home which is also a travel trailer <laughs> and then this is permanent this is our mobile uh, home this is our second home this is our cottage in the mountains we're in the beach or in Utah or, or in Florida or at Walmart or at Walmart yeah so that's why we call this the cottage it's our second home our cottage <laughs> so we have it parked here where we store it which is not at our house um, I don't have any pictures of the outside from here because it's got stuff on parked on either side but I'll show you a few pictures of what the outside looks like yeah. so you can see that here so this is our new cottage and some of you may be saying well what happened to your old one <laughs> we went over all of that in, a, in the last video called uh, what we learned about RVing and uh, we went over all the reasons for selling the old one and buying the new one we got back from our recent trip on a Friday we went out and bought this on a Saturday and then we sold the, the, the hybrid, the smaller one, in about a week. So if you'd like to see that video because you haven't seen it yet, I'll put a link to it right up here and in the description down below. So you can watch that and you see why we did this uh, exchange. Uh, we talk about it towards the end of the video. But if you're wondering why, you can find out on that video. Okay, so let's go inside and take a look. Alrighty. So here we are inside with the slide in. Now one of the things that was very important to us was that when the slide is in, everything is accessible. We have seen some RVs where when you slide it in, it comes right up to the counter and you've got to climb over the counter to get to the back. That's ridiculous. Okay, this is our old hybrid, the one we just sold. Notice that with the slide in, we had complete access to the kitchen and to the dining table so that we could get in there and cook. But we could not open the bathroom with the slide in. We had to actually move the slide out about two feet before we could access the bathroom, which was not a good situation. But as you can see with this one, I can get through right here. It's a little tight, but I can get through. All the kitchen is accessible, the, the table, so we can cook, we can eat. And then the bathroom, is back there. All the way back here. <laughs> Very easily accessible. So now, when we pull into a Walmart with a little hybrid that we had, we had to slide the slide out at least a foot or two to be able to access the bathroom. But now in a Walmart, we can just Go with it the way it is and not move anything, not slide anything, and we've got it completely accessible. That's cool. So let me go ahead and move this slide out for you. Much bigger. Yes, wonderfully. <laughs> now this center area here, sort of the living room kitchen area, is set up really similar to the first cottage that we had, our first RV um, that we had, that we just traveled in for so far. Um, the, the thing that's different is that this is, of course, bigger. It's longer. So instead of a two-seater couch, it's a three. gives more length for someone to sleep there. This is actually larger too. Um, it actually forms a longer bed if it's turned into a bed. And, and of course, it's still a really nice table seating there. Um, this is very similar um, to this, the same design, except that this is like a, it, it bumps out here and gives us more counter space. It's kind of a corner unit. And I love this thing. And that just pops right up and gives us more room to cook and to work with. So it's very similar, but just bigger 
and um, just a little bit more space to do things. So, and I love the um, the design. I, I love the fl the flowers. It's beautiful. I just think it's so pretty in here and subtle, but still so pretty. You know what? I'm going to mention something real quick because people are going to comment. I am not wearing my wedding ring. That is because it has a lifetime warranty on it, and I went in and got it checked at the jewelry store where Bill got it for me, and when they checked it, a couple of the diamonds were a little bit loose, so it's been sent off to be tightened up. As long as I keep getting it checked, it's like a lifetime warranty on it. So before somebody asks, I just wanted to mention that that's where it is already. <laughs> Women. <laughs> Well, they're going to ask me. <laughs> so like I said, this is very, very similar in the center part here. But in our other one, uh, our RV, when I would turn around right here, this is where the canvas fold-out bed would be. But now we have a bedroom. And I love it. This is called an RV queen. Um, queens are usually, I think, 60 by 80 inches. This is um, 60 by 76, so we got some special sheets and stuff for it. 75. 75? Yeah, I think it's five inches shorter. Okay. Anyway, um, that, but it's working out great. We were able to find the sheets that we needed for it really well. Um, there's little side tables. There's plugs right beside the side tables. Place underneath for shoes. Cupboards up above. Light that you can reach from the bed. Um, big windows that open. Um, I love it. The bed's very, 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 very comfortable. <laughs> and so... It's just nice because um, sometimes I still don't sleep real well at night since I had the stroke. Bill can um, go to bed and we'll have a door. Sliding door. A sliding door here that just show you. Well, anyway, there's a tripod leaning against it. There we go. See? Makes a door. And I won't open that completely because there's a tripod there. And then it just fastens. But anyway, um, so somebody can go to bed, or if I'm, if I'm finally getting some sleep, he can get up in the morning, make his coffee. The other thing is that once the bed's made, it's made. And no matter how often we have to stop or anything, it's just all set to go. In fact, honestly, if for some reason I really need to lay down in the middle of a day, which happens sometimes, and we pu pull over and just stop somewhere, um, I'm all set. I can just come back here and stretch out for a minute. Anyway, there's a lot of reasons why I just love this bedroom. And it's the only bed I have in my entire life that you can walk around on all sides. <laughs> so compared to the old hybrid that we had, we've got that extra room in the front where the the bed is, the bedroom is. We've also got a lot of extra room back here. The old hybrid, the slide, and then there was a closet here, and the bathroom was right here. Yes. And then the hybrid bed folded out. But in this one, this closet is much larger. We've got shelves down below. Which drawers. We, I mean drawers, I'm sorry, which we did not have in the other one, so that's good. And then over here on this side, we have bunks. So, we, I mean, these are two, these are long enough for me to, to, to get in and sleep in, and they work fine. Underneath, if you can bend down a little bit, there's an there's a extra door right mm -hmm. there. It's an egress door. When you open it up from the outside, you also get access from the outside to this storage area. Um, where I can put all of my jacks and all those levelers and all that stuff. So we really like this. Yeah. It's going to give us the ability to take family along with us. Yeah. Because we got these two bunks plus the sleep two on the on the couch and two on the uh, the, the kitchen dinette thing, plus the uh, bed in the front for us. So it's lots of sleeping. And then this is the bathroom. And the other bathroom had a little triangular shaped uh, tub. This one is a real show, tub shower. Go ahead and show it. Let me show you something. It. it works very, very nicely. It's actually a real little tub in there. And uh, we both used it and um, on our little shakedown night, and it was it worked beautifully. And then the medicine chest and storage. Got some linen in a basket, and of course your regular little restroom facility there. So, yeah, it's great. The steps are much more substantial. Sometimes the way we have to park it, 
she needs an extra little step there to get into it. And these steps are much easier for her to pull in and out on her own too. The other ones I always had to do. So I also want to address a couple of questions that some of you have already asked or I anticipate that you will ask. <laughs> As you can see, this is our home and it's also a travel trailer. It's a 30 foot travel trailer set up permanently on land that we own, set up on blocks and it's got skirting around it. You can see here it's got a permanently attached sunroom. That's not going anywhere. So the one that we have now that's the cottage, that is our mobile travel trailer that we can go take trips with. So we actually have two. So this is our home and that one's our cottage. <laughs> so as far as our cottage, what is it? It's an 04 uh, Layton by Skyline and it's 30 feet long. It's an, obviously it's an 04, so it's older than our the one we sold, but it's in excellent shape. The one the, our old one, quote old one that we sold is actually newer. It was a 2012, uh, 21 foot hybrid by R Vision. <clears throat> we were able to sell, or we bought the new one, and then we sold the old one a week later, pretty much straight across. Um, we could have actually held out for more for the one that we sold. We probably could have gotten several thousand more for it, but we came across this guy who was, I, Elizabeth talked about this earlier, he was a recent widower and he had two young boys and they were just really excited and he was excited about having something that he could do with his kids and uh, the price we gave him for, that was all he could come up with. So we just felt like we wanted to bless him. So we pretty much traded, traded the two, two straight across. So the only additional cost was, you know, the registration on the second vehicle and that sort of thing. Another question that people have asked is whether our truck can handle this larger RV. Yes, indeed it can. It's an 06 F250. And our new trailer has an empty weight of 6,000 and a gross vehicle weight of 9,400. Gross vehicle weight means that's the gross amount of weight allowed in the trailer after you completely load it. So 9,400 is the gross vehicle weight. The towing capacity of our truck is 9,700. So as long as we don't overload the trailer, we'll be fine. And we're hoping to not even get near that 9,400. Uh, we just have to always, you know, be careful of how much we actually put in the trailer. So there's no problem there with towing it. Also, uh, when we bought the new one, it came with a a larger hitch and a sway bar uh, tension bar that really helps a lot with sway. It also lifts the back of the truck and doesn't allow it to sag and it works it works really well. So another comment or question that I've gotten quite often is why do we park it in a storage area? You can see here this is the storage area that we park it in next to a truck and a bus and anyway so why do we park it over there instead of parking it here at our property? Well, <clears throat> two reasons. One is that we live in a community that has a property owners association that just simply doesn't allow it to, to park RVs on your property, which is kind of ironic to me because we live in an RV, <laughs> but we're not allowed to park a mobile RV here. But even more importantly, we just simply don't have the room. Our property that we own is only 50 feet by 100 feet. So look at what we've got here. There's no place there to park it. <clears throat> there's the road. And over on the other side, there's just no place. The only possible place would be right over here on the grass, but that tends to be really muddy when it rains a lot. And uh, there just simply isn't any place anywhere on the property to park it, even if we are, are allowed. So that's why we um, have to store it in a rental storage area. So that's our tour. I'm really glad we got a chance to show it to you guys, and um, thanks for, I don't know, just in, in coming along with us, and we're so blessed to be able to have this place to travel in, so I'm glad we got to show it to you. Yep, and we're so excited to be able to hit the road with it. I'm ready to go tomorrow. How about you? Yeah. 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 <laughs> but we got other obligations, so it's not possible, but we will definitely be doing some more trips in it. Yes. And we'll take you along, of course. Absolutely. Yep. So, all right, everybody, thanks for watching. Live simple. Live free. Be blessed. Bye. We love you guys. We'll see you soon. All right, bye. Bye bye. 
Okay. Alrighty. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. So here's the inside with the slide in. Now one of the things that was very important to us... <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Alright, let's try that again. <laughs> Blooper. Okay.